Yeah. We were going to kill him. Bounced by the central umpire. Charles gets it down to McGuinness. McGuinness's kick up towards full forward. The Bulldogs into attack immediately. Hawkins is in the forward line. Swings around onto the right foot. First blood in the second half to the Bulldogs. Hawkins kicks his first goal. Feeling for the team. And there's uh, Greg Eppleston. Good to see him start to be an attacking player. But I thought, in all due respect to Puts Gray, that Sydney lost the game. And we mentioned a quarter time, the game was there, but nobody really did want to go on with it. There was just no urgency at all about the game. And uh, Sydney, well, they were very haphazard. They really never got into overdrive or even top gear until maybe the last part of the last quarter. Then they could show a little bit of what they could do. But by that stage, they'd given the Footscray too much of a lead weight. And in today's football, you cannot afford to give a lead weight to these players because the skill level is not all that great between the top and bottom side. Give them a sniff of the ball, they gain confidence. They'll cut you to pieces. This is a great kick by Hawkins. And Dougie Hawkins, who started on the wing but was uh, had to lower his colours there, uh, uh, finished up kicking three goals up in the full forward area. I thought Chris Grant was a player that uh, they could certainly... Last week he kicked three goals and perhaps didn't quite get the distance on a few occasions, but uh, they've got some very good young players, haven't they? Yeah, my word. Take into account Barry Stanfield in the back pocket. Very good. We mentioned also Chris Grant. He was a good player. Cameron, another good player.